We are joined by reporter Chris Solder Lewis. Chris Solder, good afternoon to you. Can you hear me this time? Well, yes, I can, Alicia. Chris Alda, look, I mean, 77% of its uh, university students have voted in favor of returning to class, while 23% has voted against. What does this then mean? Well, what this essentially means uh, there, Alicia, is that uh, Wits University now is considering opening the institution on Monday. Of course, you'd recall that uh, when they started, they said that they'd received a flurry of emails from concerned students who said that they want the institution uh, to reopen because of the concern over the upcoming examinations and uh, what they've really lost in terms of the academic year so far. So what Wits University is now saying is that they will then release the final tally of those results a bit later on this afternoon, including the tally from staff members, because staff members, we understand, have also participated in this poll. But certainly what the indication is at this point is that of those who participated in this poll, the students are now saying that the institution should open on Monday and that preparations should now be put in place to ensure that there's a catch-up process that must take place before those old crucial exams do begin. Mm, now, Chris Aldo, we also understand that uh, the briefing hasn't uh, started as yet, but just take us through what we can expect from that briefing. Well, you must recall uh, there, Alicia, from uh, the post-Cabinet uh, media briefing yesterday, it was indicated that President Jacob Zuma would meet with the security cluster ministers. We do understand that he did have that meeting with the ministers in the security cluster yesterday, of course expressing concern about the levels of violence that we've seen at these institutions of higher learning over the past a couple of weeks. Uh, we've seen at many of the institutions, not just one, the levels of violence between the protesters protesters as well as uh, the security and the police as well and the damage to property which you would know that uh, the higher education minister has, has estimated at about 600 million rand so obviously that meeting with the security clusters yesterday uh, with president Jacob Zuma was really about trying to quell what we the scenes that we've seen over the past couple of weeks so the media briefing which will take place here uh, this afternoon would be a feedback meeting following that engagement with the president but of course what we're expecting to come out of here is that uh, the minister again will call for calm and uh, of course uh, they would need then to indicate what plans will further be put in place uh, to ensure that a sense of normality does return to these institutions but I think also very crucially there Alicia is that the um, Minister of Higher Education and Training is not just meeting with uh, the ministers from the security cluster there are also SRC presidents as well as the secretaries who are here to meet with the minister. He's currently locked in that meeting with the SRC presidents and the secretaries at this point. So certainly what needs uh, what, what we see taking place here at this point is that uh, the minister is engaging uh, these SRC presidents to try and come to come uh, to some consensus because many are saying that these universities that have uh, locked their lecture doors, uh, uh, the lecture rooms that have not been operational over the past a couple of weeks now, that situation certainly cannot continue. Continue. Mm. So these engagements are certainly important. It'll be very interesting to hear what consensus then has been reached between the SRC presidents and the minister and certainly from the security cluster, how they plan or what plans will be put in place to quell the violence that we've seen over the past uh, a couple of uh, weeks. So uh, whether these institutions come Monday uh, will reopen whether there'll be more uh, uh, law enforcement agencies uh, that will be placed at these universities. Exactly what strategy will be used moving forward is exactly what's crucial about this meeting here this afternoon, which we will get feedback from. We're not sure at this stage when that media briefing will get underway. Uh, we understand that those talks are between uh, the higher education minister and the SRC presidents and the secretaries is still underway. Mm, Chris Alder, a very quick one uh, before I let you go. I mean, our students now have happy with uh, the latest uh, response from uh, the various authorities in terms of government as well as universities. What are they saying? Well, 
I think, Alicia, just before we get there, I think what's also crucial to note at this point and is the monitoring of these universities. In particular, let's, let's shift our focus slightly there to Fitz University. Of course, you'd recall that students indicated that they were not happy that the university was conducting this poll. They felt that this was nothing but a ploy to divide students. So the results now are certainly in favour of the university. Uh, the university then is considering opening on Monday and you've got a section of the students that are saying that is simply not going to happen. What they're saying is that they're going to continue to ensure that these universities, including Fitz University, are rendered ungovernable and the protests and violence that we have seen is going to continue. That's certainly the sentiment that we're seeing at, uh, from some of these students that we've spoken to from other universities. What they're saying is that they would not perhaps like an outcome perhaps from this media briefing that would suggest that perhaps more law enforcement agencies would be placed at these universities where we've seen majority of this violence taking place. So very crucially, students will be monitoring what the security cluster, the minister, and certainly the SRC presidents and those secretaries will say uh, what these engagements were about and what, what outcome uh, there will be. But uh, what we do know at this point is that at Wits University, for example, stu <coughs> I beg your pardon, students uh, were scheduled to meet uh, from 2 o'clock and that indicated that uh, they were not happy about the poll that was conducted there. So the sentiment that we're getting at this stage uh, there, Alicia, is that many students from these various universities that we have spoken to are saying that they're not going to accept any additional security that is going to be placed at these universities. They feel that uh, there's a militarization, according to them, of uh, the institutions where they say that these are nothing but places of learning where they shouldn't feel intimidated. Well, of course, that's according to them. Mm -hmm. And uh, really, uh, what we then will have to monitor moving forward is that what decision will be taken by this uh, a, a particular meeting and then how students then will respond uh, to what the security cluster, the minister and the SRC presidents and secretaries have come up with. Thank you so much, Chris Elder. We'll definitely get in touch with her much later on. She's at Wits University and we will have those details for you as soon as they become available. It's uh, time to take a quick